Hey everyone, welcome to TechCravers and welcome to another PS Vita tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to swap out the X and circle button functions for anyone using a Japanese PS Vita. As you may know, Japanese PS Vitas use the circle button to confirm, unlike in the West where we use the X button. I'll also guide you through how to install Auto Plugin 2, a fantastic tool that lets you download and install any plugin that you want on your hacked PS Vita. That's right, this tutorial is for those of you who have already a hacked PS Vita, but don't worry if you're not there yet. I have videos that walk you through every step of the hacking process. All you need is an internet connection, no extra tools required. But with that being said, let's jump into it. Swapping the X and circle buttons on a hacked PS Vita couldn't be easier. Since you followed my hacking guides, you have already installed the necessary plugin through Hankaku. All you need to do is open the settings app on your hacked PS Vita, select Hankaku settings, and scroll down to circle button behavior. Change it from enter to cancel, and then restart your device to apply the changes. Now your Japanese PS Vita will work just like a standard US or European unit. There are other methods to switch the buttons as well, but this is by far the simplest if you followed one of my PS Vita hacking guides. And as you can see, while I'm navigating my PS Vita now, I'm using X to confirm and circle to go back. Now that we are taking care of the button swap, let's move on to the easiest way to install a variety of plugins to customize and enhance your PS Vita experience. We'll do this by installing Auto Plugin 2. First, open the browser on your PS Vita and make sure you're connected to the internet. Go to http colon slash slash download dot my hb dot deb and press enter. I'll also include the link in the video description. This will take you to the Vita app downloader page. Click continue, then OK to open the Vita downloader menu. Once there, scroll down one step and select install quick app downloader. After it finished downloading and installing, click exit to return to your PS Vita home menu, scroll down to locate the quick app downloader and open it. In the quick app downloader you'll see a list of apps in either green or white. The, the green ones are already installed on your device, while the white ones are available for install. For example you might see Button Swapper XO which is another way to switch out the X and Circle buttons, but we don't need that here. Instead select Auto Plugin 2 to download and install it. This might take a moment, but once it's done you can back out to your PS Vita's home menu and you'll see that Auto Plugin 2 is now installed on your device. Auto Plugin 2 is very straightforward, you'll see a list of plugins with a brief explanation in green text underneath. If a plugin has a green dot next to it on the right, it's already installed on your device. And without going too deep, let me show you how to install a plugin. For example, Quick Menu Plus adds extra options to the PS Vita's Quick Menu when you hold down the PS button. Simply press X to view the screenshot of the plugin if available and then press X again to install it. And as you can see here PSV Shell already has a green dot next to it so it's installed already. To exit Auto Plugin 2 press start on your device and Auto Plugin 2 will restart your PS Vita to apply any new changes. And to test if the new plugins are working I'll hold down the PS button and now as you can see I have new options to restart or power off my device directly from this menu, a setting that wasn't available before. The other plugin I installed was PSV Shell. 
and by holding select and pressing d-pad up at the same time you can activate an incredibly powerful tool, an overclocking feature. This tool allows you to overclock your PS Vita for maximum performance and the highest possible frame rates in every game. And what's great about PSV Shell is that it saves unique overclock or underclock settings for each game or app. So for demanding games you can boost performance for smoother gameplay, while for less intensive games you can scale it back to save battery life. And once you set these, it automatically applies the settings each time you launch the game or app. Let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in a dedicated PS Vita overclocking tutorial. And that's it for this guide on how to swap your X and circle buttons and installing plugins on your hacked PS Vita. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments down below which plugins you recommend to others. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as it really helps out. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out.